Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Licentious Leroy Pearson of Greater St. Paul AME Church, where our pastor is Dr. Reverend Toby H. Pollock. And this morning, I'll be coming at you all with our youth church school lesson. Lesson number two, March the 14th, 2021. And our today's topic is victory is ours. Victory. Victory means to win to be victorious, to stand out. And our scripture, lesson scripture, Joshua 5, 13 through 6, 27. And our focus scripture, Joshua 5, 13, 6 through 6, excuse me, 5 through 13, 6 through 5, 6 and 5. And our 15 through 16 and verse 20. And our key topic this morning, remove sandals from your feet, for the place where you're standing is holy. Holy means be set apart. And we remember this saying came from Moses when Moses was on the Mount Sinai, Sinai and he was looking at the burning bush and seeing why the bush was burning, but it wasn't being consumed. So when we know when something burn up, burning, it burns up and it be consumed, it disappears ashes. So here we found Joshua speaking to one of his com God's commander and he is telling Joshua to move his feet because the ground that he's standing on is holy ground. This is the ground that God has promised them, promised the children of Israel, the land that flowing with milk and honey. So as we prepare for this lesson this morning, let us open a word of prayer. Our Father and our God, we pray as we glorify and we magnify your holy name, Father God. As we come, Father God, to these children, Father God, to teach in your word, Father God. We ask that now, Father God, that you would open their hearts, mind, and soul to receive what does says you, O Lord. We ask right now, Father God, that you would have your way, Father God, and guide us through this lesson, Father God, teaching us what does says you, O Lord. Father God, we thank you for the victory. We thank you, Father God, for keeping us. We love you and we need you. In your son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Victory is ours. And we're looking at Joshua 5 through 5, 13, through 6 and 5. And when you get there, you find these words. Once when Joshua was by Jericho, he looked up and saw a man standing before him with a drawn sword, a knife, a knife in his hand. Joshua went to him and said to him, Are oh, you one of us or one of our adversary? Either you're with God or you're against God. That's what Joshua was asking. Are you on our side or are you on the Lord's side? Because Joshua knows is with the Lord. And he replied, Neither but am a commander of the army of the Lord. I have now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worship, and said to him, What do you command your servant, my Lord? After he explained to Joshua who he was, Joshua fell to his face, worshiping, giving homage, because he was a man of God. And he knew we all is Joshua knew we all is there came and came from God. And understanding that, that during that time that he worshiped, he worshiped God. And he thanked God for sending someone. And this man is telling him, the commander of the army of the Lord said to Joshua, remove the sandals from your feet for the place where you stand is holy. And Joshua did so. Holy means to be set apart. Set apart. So that's what this man is telling Joshua. You, you on holy ground. Take your sandals off. Nothing going to happen to your feet. Now, we can't go running out to doing briars and glass and all that and expect nothing to happen to us if we're not in God's word or God in God's will. So we have to be sure we're in God's will and go in the will of God to be able to understand when he said, take off your shoes, you're standing on holy ground. And Jericho was shut up inside and out because of the Israelite. No one came in or out or it went in. And this was a building that's surrounded by a wall. And nobody went in or came out. It was all consumed. It was all to themselves. 
They didn't want to deal with the outside world. They didn't want to deal with no other people, no other nations. The Lord said to Joshua, See, I have handed Jericho over to you, along with its king and soldiers. This is what God did. He handed them over. Even though they were shut up in that wall, inside that building, but God can penetrate any wall. No matter what kind of wall it is, we have a God that can do all things but fail. So we thank God for penetrating this wall and allowing Joshua to go in and, and take over this land. You shall march around the city, all the warriors clinging the city once, circling the city once. Then you shall do it for six days. Six days. God made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day we did, he rest. But here we see God had them to march around the wall for six days straight, not saying one word, just marching, not talking, just marching. With seven priests bearing seven trumpets of ram home before the ark, on the seventh day you shall march around the city seven times. The priest blows the trumpet. And remember about the trumpet, when the trumpet is being blown for Christ, Christ in the dead shall rise. When he comes to crack the sky again, the trumpet is going to sound. When they make a loud blast with the ram's horn, as soon as you hear the sound of the trumpet, then all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the walls of the city will fall down flat. And all the people shall charge straight ahead. But when you look at this and understand it, only way you can bring walls down, we're thinking, is with dolomite, with a big wrecking ball, or with something heavy to bust through that wall. But here we see God's people marching around the wall, and God is going to make this wall fall down. And that's what God is telling us about the walls that's in our life. Even though we're going through trials and tribulations, we have to continue to stay the course. We have to continue to walk around and do the will of God, no matter how hard, heavy our hearts are. Continue to be obedient to God. Young people, we're never too young to do the will of God. We're never too young to be a mouthpiece for God. Continue to speak God's word and teach and tell people about how great God is. On the seventh day, they rose early at dawn and marched around the city in the same manner seven times. It was only on that day they marched around the city seven times. And the seventh time when the priest had blown the trumpet, Joshua said to the people, shout, shout. You know, we had these football games, the baseball game, basketball game, how we shouting and cheering and all that. That's what God wanted them to do on this last walk around Jericho wall. This is how they holler and scream and give God glory for what he was about to do. Lord had given you the city. So the people shouted and the trumpet were blown. As soon as the people heard the sound of the trumpet, they raised a great shout. And the wall fell down flat. So the people charged straight ahead into the city and captured it. It took over the city of Jericho. They did what thus says the Lord. They went in and took over this city, flowing with milk and honey. So that's why as young people, we have to continue to do what thus says the Lord. We have to continue to walk with our head held high, knowing that God will bring the wall down. God will take it away from us. So we continue just to do what thus says the Lord. You're never too young to do what thus says the Lord. Because remember now, Joshua was successor of Moses. Moses dead and gone, so God raised Joshua to continue to carry on the journey to what Moses was doing. Mm, amen. So we thank God. And the remix for this morning is when we really read today's lesson, we sometimes think what Joshua and the Israelites did was easy. But that isn't true. Joshua and the Israelites had to trust in God instead of their instinct. They had to keep marching around Jericho even though that was not how they worshiped and not how they fought, fought wars. Fought wars. Thank God they followed God's direction because that's how they won. If we want to win with God, we have to follow God's direction. Young people, 
Follow God's direction. Do what does says the Lord, knowing that God will and can take care of us. So when God says he will fight your battle, he will fight your battle, and you will be victorious. We thank God this morning for fighting our battle. Praise the Lord. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho. 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 Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, and the walls came tumbling down. We fight battle just as tough, just as tough, just as tough. We fight battle just as tough in the way that God instructed. And our walls will start trembling down. So remember, keep the faith. Do what does says the Lord. And your walls will come tumbling down. I love y'all. Be blessed and be encouraged. Amen.